If you have noticed a significant increase in the amount of spam getting through your secure message gateway, there may be a problem with the license that is installed on the SMG appliance. If the license is expired, a new one will need to be downloaded and installed. The first thing to do is check to see if the license is expired. Log into the SMG System Administration UI by going to https colon whack whack and your server's IP address. Then choose System Administration. Click on System Management, then Licensing. On the page on the left, it should show the current license along with the expiration date. If it is expired, a new license will need to be downloaded and installed. If the license is not expired, check the SMG SMTP log to see if it shows is expired. Click on the System Management, Manage Servers, and then on the page on the right, open the server and scroll down to System Logs and click on Download. Click on the folder for SMG SMTP to display the logs. Choose the one with the current date and then click on the green arrow to download it. Search the log for the following string. SMTP interface license expired or invalid. If this is found in this log, then a new license will need to be downloaded and installed. A validation key is needed in order to download a new license PEM file. To get the validation key for your company, log in to Guava's Customer Support Center by going to guava.microfocus.com slash customer center and click on Software, Entitled Software, then click on Keys for the most recent release. This is the validation key needed to download a new PEM file. Take note of the description as it will be needed when choosing the correct product. This example is SMG for SMTP Exchange. To register a new PEM file, open a browser to https colon whack whack licenses.guava.com, click on the pull down menu and choose the product listed in the description field in the customer center. Paste in the key in the validation key field, make sure there are no spaces before or after the key, and then click next. The company name should auto-populate. Fill out the rest of the form, click on the boxes to signify that you are authorized to claim the license for your company and that you agree with the end user license agreement, then click Next. Then click on Download to download the PEM file. To install the new PEM file, log back into the licensing page on the SMG System Administration user interface. Click on the garbage can next to the current license. This will remove it. Then click on Add License. Browse to the new PEM file that was recently downloaded and click Install. It should now show a valid license with the correct expiration date. No restart is required. Scanning should start working again now. Thank you for watching. We hope you find this information helpful.